Our garden looked onto this square. The drinking troughs were over there, and the large magnolia of our garden is over there. I used to climb it to talk to my cousins from a distance. Underneath there was the roofing of the wash house. Since water was not available in homes, the wash house used to be very crowded at the time. There were so many women contending for the stone washing troughs, quarrelling and washing, beating their laundry. The air was filled with echoes of their voices, their calls and cries. This is how Desi tells and describes it. The wash house was built in the old quarter of Frontera de Samitza, at the heart of the old centre. Its construction dates back to 1893 and was part of a broader project that included the whole area facing it. A focal point of the small town, the square hosted the drinking troughs, the municipal slaughterhouse and the open gallery of the waterworks. Adjacent to the wash house once stood Murgia's liqueur factory, which produced the famous Villacidra Murgia and the Cardoni Mill, which was working until the early 1960s and is now going to house the Museum of Paese d'Ombre. The square hosting the wash house has always been a gathering point for many people's lives. Crossed by the Fluminera stream, it was an unavoidable stopover for men who, at dawn, paused there to water their animals before going into the country. Women also used to go there to wash their laundry, at first barefoot, ankle deep in the waters of the stream, later under cover beneath the open arcades of the wash house. It was a place of social aggregation and exchange where people used to meet. There new friendships and loves began. There people used to talk about the news of the village and its inhabitants. The Art Nouveau style characterizing the building gives it an outstanding elegance and makes it a landmark for sightseers in the small town. The wide open gallery decorated in fine floral patterns where women once used to take shelter now rewards its visitors by evoking ancient memories in the shade of a large magnolia.